This is the birch tree that I'm going to try and tap today. It's the uh, second weekend of, of March. Ideal time to try it really. Don't want to be doing it too long after this. But if we take a quick look at the bark, you can see what a birch tree looks like. You can tell by the um, the streaks in the in the in the bark, and a lot of the time you find um, the paper birch um, as well, where the um, the bark just naturally peels away and sheds, and you can collect that. It's great tinder. You can see there's some bark there. It's just flaking away. So we'll give it a go. Okay, so we're going to tap our birch tree now um, without using a drill or boring a big hole in it. We're just going to use a knife. Um, we're going to use the tip of our knife in a nice flat area there. And you're just angling the knife upwards slightly and then giving it a firm smack from the butt of the knife. So, just like that. And give it a tiny little bit of a wiggle and there you can see already we've got sap rolling down the knife. Just like that. Tastes lovely. So uh, just make sure you've, you're just going in under the bark and just make sure you've got a big enough hole in there. Just going in about two centimetres I would say. Once you've done that, you want to uh, put in the bung that you made, which we've got here. Just a tiny piece of stick that we fashioned and flattened sort of down on each end. And you're driving that up into the small slit that we made. Just need to get it rolling down that stick, okay? Sometimes when you're doing it with this method, with a knife, it's um, going to be prone to dripping down the tree here. I think we should probably put the um, angle of the stick in a little more vertical, see if that helps. No, it's still rolling down the tree. So I'm going to make the um, I'm going to make the uh, piece of wood that I'm putting in a little flatter and smaller to try and encourage the uh, sap to roll down the stick as opposed to the tree. There we go. Now we've got it dripping off the off our piece there. So now we're going to attach our bottle just below that. Just use a normal power cord, strap, strap your bottle around the tree. No fancy knots or anything are needed here, just like tying your shoelaces. And there we go, that's about it, and just leave nature to do its thing. And uh, come back in a while, come back in an hour or so, and you'll have a nice drink waiting at the bottom of that bottle. I'm going to try putting an even smaller tap now.
Okay. This one's uh, working a bit better than the one I just tried on a tree, another tree a moment ago. Um, again, I think when you when you're using this method with such a small slit and, and a small tap, um, sometimes if, if the sap starts running straight down the tree, um, you know, directly beneath the slit is all wet, and the uh, the sap will prefer to just take down the tree then. So if you can get a, a small tap in as soon as possible, as soon as you've made the slit and s stop it trickling down the tree, often you get better results. Um, but yeah, this is a lower impact way of doing it. You don't need to use a big drill or bore a big hole into the tree. I don't like doing that and putting in big bungs where they can, um, you know, get diseases and stuff after. Um, after you finish with this, you just gently push down the bark and cover the slit and the tree does the rest. It flushes the wound out with sap and um, it, you know, no, it lowers the impact of disease getting in there. So that's working well now.